Ta-da. have to watch for the numbers to start. There it goes. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Uh, today is May 13th, uh, 2017, which makes uh, this video the uh, not the 100th in the series, or, but this is uh, uh, my one-year uh, anniversary. I have uh, been on Hormones HRT for a year now, technically, and so uh, this is kind of the obligatory one-year update video that uh, probably stands a pretty good chance of being seen by someone other than me. And if not, that's okay. I still watch them uh, as I walk on the treadmill. Usually I watch my videos and I, I try to learn from my mistakes and whatnot. So uh, I thought about writing a list of things so I could have topics and whatnot, but that kind of was contrary to how I've done my videos up to this point. My videos have always been a stream of consciousness and uh, somewhat amateurish and that's okay um so anyway so here we are here one year one year one year one year um i don't think i could say anything that you probably already don't guess um obviously living as close to a woman as i can after a year uh, is pretty damn good compared to the way things were before. Um, I am 100% living as a woman uh, all the time and uh, very, very liberating to do that. Um, a year ago, um, was not on hormones, was not living as a woman, did not have long hair, did not uh appear in any way shape or form feminine not to say that i do now but you know i had a long beard and uh facial hair and um you know if you saw me on the street you would say okay there's a cool you know there's a a, a tall dude and uh now i uh i'm happy to say i don't get called bigfoot or uh you know she chupacabra or whatever but um I go to the grocery store and I get called ma'am and thank you ma'am for coming in. Thank you for shopping and, you know, uh, go to the deli counter. How can I help you, miss? Or, uh, you know, how are you, hon? You know, um, a lot of things that uh, that I don't ask for that, that just happens now. You know, go to the bank and um, didn't get any odd looks when I went in as Mrs. Parks as opposed to Mr. Parks. So um, I guess I'm establishing a baseline that, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, accepted wherever I go and uh, I've not encountered any issues. Now, uh, I'm about six foot one, so I'm a tall lady, um, somewhat of a, an obese lady, still very obese and fat. Um, and trying to lose weight, but I mean, you know, if some, um, you would think of, you know, someone who may not like transgender people, um, I have no fear that I will be jumped in a parking lot or sexually abused, uh, sexually assaulted. Yes. <laughs> I have a cat in the room. She's like, but, but I want to say something. No, she's you're looking for food. Anyway, um, sorry to wreck my train there. Anyway, except to wherever I go, not worried about sexually being assaulted, um, whatnot, whatnot. So that's all good and well. Um, I had thought about talking about changes that have happened in my body over the past year. Yes, you can come up here. There you go. Kitty wants to come up. Um, I had thought about, you know, I grew so many inches and my cup size is this and whatever and whatever. And if I could share something with you, that is all crap. Okay. <laughs> Not to say that I didn't do it myself. Guilty. Um, but your transition, if I can impart to you anything... Your transition is your transition, and my transition is my transition. 
And that's not to say we can't learn things from each other. But your body is different than my body. You're going to react differently to hormones than I am. And if you watch a video and someone says, oh, I... I, you know, I, I now am a, a D cup or a B cup and you're not and you're an A or under, you're going to feel really bad about yourself and think that something's wrong or the hormones are not working and, and whatever. And that's crap, you know. Um, yes, it is nice to fill a bra cup, but that doesn't make your transition. It doesn't make you a woman. Um, you know, you are your own best judge for that um you know so you know as a matter as a point of interest um i do fill a, a c cup um i was a little pudgy to begin with obviously i had more cushion for the pushing um in my dreams i like to would like to fill a d cup but um again i'm not going to be unhappy if i don't make it there Oh, that sounds... Anyway, I use that as a cue. That's a cat cue to move on to something else. So let's talk about something else. Um, getting started can be somewhat of a, a challenge. However, the momentum seems to carry itself. Um, like I said a year ago... Uh, you know, definitely thinking about transitioning started a long, 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 long time ago. And it was in uh, March uh, of, of a year ago, March of a year ago, that I started to, I'm like, you know what, I need to transition. I, I can't put this off anymore. I need to do it. It becomes a need. And uh, sought out a therapist, went through my three or four sessions, got evaluated, got my letter, and sought out an endocrinologist. Um, actually ended up at a nurse practitioner um, who had experience in uh, trans stuff, got involved in the local uh, Trans Women National Support Group. And it just so happens that my endocrinologist was there the week before. <laughs> To just talk about hormones and whatnot. So she knew me. Um, she had seen me, you know, even though I was a wallflower at the meeting because it was like my first meeting and I was like, you know, I'm nervous to be here. You know, what are these strange clothes that I've always wanted to wear? Uh, you know, stuffing my bra with socks and, and whatever else. And, you know. I can remember uh, walking up the steps and reaching towards the doorknob to, for the meeting and not knowing what was on the other side of that door. Um, yeah, so not an easy road, but, but definitely doable. And so um, that's good. Um, started off and uh, kind of met a little bit of resistance from my insurance company out of the gate because the computer system uh, is set up to look for fraud and here this man was seeking drugs that only women take so it, it knocked it out so I did have a little rough patch at the beginning uh, where I had the script for the hormones <laughs> I couldn't get them and it took a little while uh, of uh, patience, and there's a couple videos on my YouTube channel where I'm like crying because I'm like, I can't believe they're denying this. You know, what's wrong with hormones? Um, so anyway, half my time's over. I guess I better speed it up. Um, so back to that idea of being your own woman, though. I, I think that's going to be the driving point of this. There will always be someone ahead of you. There will always be someone behind you in this journey. Uh, someone who's a couple steps ahead. Someone who's a couple steps behind. And so it's good to network so you can kind of learn what did someone do. And then evaluate that decision and make it for yourself. Um, just because it worked for someone may not, may not work for you. Um, um, you know... I uh, consider myself somewhat of an outsider in a way because I don't consider myself gay. Uh, I'm not a lesbian, 
and uh, I somewhat feel like the transgender community somewhat is hijacked willingly by the gay community. Um, you know, LGBTQ plus. Um, I find there's very little room for a heterosexual trans woman in this community. And that doesn't, you know, maybe that means I need to be more active. I don't know. But a lot of lesbians, a lot of women who trans women who transition and hook up with lesbians, and that's okay. But there's almost this friction of you know well, what do you mean you don't want to go to the gay bar well i'm not gay and i'm not interested in meeting other women you know or you know what do you mean you don't want to go to the, the drag show and um, we have in, in town here we have the derby sisters who do a lot of good work for the community um but i almost see them as a as parodying trans women or parodying i mean I guess they make themselves targets of ridicule and, you know, they, they, they go outlandish, but, um, like I said, it's, it's, it's almost offensive to me and I hate to, I hate to say that and I, and I don't mean to pick on them, but you know what I mean? I don't know. And maybe I have reached a point, maybe this is part two of this video, my last couple minutes, you know, I've reached a point where, uh, I wish I was I wish I was stealthy enough to go unnoticed. Um, you know, I'm I'm definitely a big girl, a big trans woman, a big woman anyway, but um I think I feel myself withdrawing again, you know, that um I just want to be a woman in the background now. I don't want to be front and center. I don't want to be you know, so that's where I'm headed. I'm I'm pulling back from the community now, and um, you know, again, it's 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 just everyone has their own path, their own journey. You know, back to that idea. Um, transitioning at work went really really well for me. Um, I work at a, a company that actually has a um, booklet on transitioning at work and a program. Um, and they definitely have a huge, huge uh, inclusion and diversity department that, that takes everything. And so, you know, my transition was pretty damn cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, here we are at a year and it's kind of the end of the year of firsts. You know, your first time going to the grocery store, your first time going to the mall, your first time this uh, the first few times, I mean, I still get a little high, a little buzz off of being called ma'am. You know, the other day, uh, someone at the Little Caesars uh, place said miss. They called me miss, and that was really the first miss I had gotten before it was missus or ma'am. And, uh, you know, I was like, okay, either <laughs> your glasses are foggy and you can't see. You know what I mean? It's like you, you, you surprise yourself. Um so anyway, um, I'm trying to think for this to be a year video, um, what's ahead? Um, from a biological point of view, my body is still changing. Um, my breasts are still sore, this morning especially. Uh, the nipples and whatnot, which tells me I'm about to go through another phase of growth. Um, one thing about hormones you'll find out is you... You, on average go through these phases of like dormancy and growth and dormancy and growth and it's my understanding that you know for the, for the next calendar year for year year one to two um those breasts are still going to continue to grow there's still some changes i have a very slow metabolism anyway so um but anyway my last 30 seconds here um again i would say to anybody regardless of where you are on your path um there's definitely a lot you can learn from people that are a couple steps ahead and a couple steps behind. But please don't feel like you have to fit a mold. You have to be like someone else. You have to, you know, makeup and high heels don't necessarily make the woman. You make your own path. You're going to have your own style. And finding your own style is half the fun of it. So, 
All right, my friends. Well, that's it for my year. So till next time. Bye. And as always, good luck.